Let's take one more Catex exam example. See, this is SolidWorks exercise Catex 3D08. This is the number of this uh, question. Now, what exactly this question? Now we have some parameters A to T, A, B, C, D. These are the values of uh, parameters. And here are the question. What is the distance between P1, P2? Okay. See, this is the end point and this is the end point. We have to find out the distance between these two. Then what is the area of green surface? If you rotate the model, there is a green surface. You will see this area you have to find out. And uh, what is the volume of this module? So answer also written here. Now first we will enter these parameters in equations. Then we will we are going to solve these questions. Now first uh, we will make this outer body. Uh, you will see this outer body radius a okay and what is the depth of this you will see here j radius r3 fine then uh, we will make this path this path uh, going to start from bottom so we will start from bottom see this path value okay let's do this first now see here equations right click manage equations now apply global variable now let me apply the value a press tab key and here i am going to apply all the values 120 press tab again tab b tab now b value 90 tab tab c c value exactly 42 d now similarly i have to apply all the dimensions here F. Now 60 here I applied this is angle so go to unit and here choose degree see here this value in angle okay now the last value it's J tab 20 again no not the last last is T this is the thickness of the body or shell feature we will use for shell feature now see all the dimensions applied here say okay if you drop down equations you will see these all global variables we can directly use even either you can apply dimensions also okay let's apply top plane sketch activate circle and draw a circle from origin point always keep origin so that we will have we have some measurement okay equals to the outer diameter how much 120 okay feature extrude now here also keep end condition blind i want to move material or add material in upper direction so here press equal to global variable now these value how much j select here okay now click this corner and see fillet constant type fillet activate tangent propagation and here uh, fillet is symmetric 3 millimeter okay now before going to create this one i am going to apply this one c and d these are oblongs let's come down now here see in this section depth of this 5 millimeter corner radius 3 okay then we will we are going to apply this at bottom d from here to here e e means 136 d plus 20 32 okay let's see select this face equish now activate center straight slot center drag okay now if you want to click here add dimension it will add dimension but 
we have to apply that's why I'm, I'm going to keep unchecked the smart dimension now select distance outside to outside equals to this is the value of C global variable C okay now this one equals to global variable D okay extrude now here this value equals to 5 okay uh, no need to define anything okay fillet constant fillet size uh, type constant size radius 3 millimeter let me select any one edge at bottom now I am going to again select top plane top plane actually the bottom face sketch circle let me draw one center line make sure this is horizontal okay activate line make sure this is coincide here now select these two lines and click mirror entity see it's mirror a smart dimension now apply distance from here hold shift key select this outer circle see is equal to global variable e okay similarly let's me apply this one global variable plus 20 equals to okay that's fine and uh, let me apply this diameter now this diameter is b okay now it seems fully defined trim entity power trim just press and hold left mouse over the line and see this is going to trimmed okay a sketch fillet here apply 32 now let me select these two corners okay cancel now our geometry is fully defined simply exit okay now i want to create one plane on this because i want to create one sketch plane for reference first reference right plane for second reference i am going to choose end point of this sketch what we created in previous okay select the plane one sketch corner rectangle activate circle okay trim entity power trim and here keep trimmed entity so that uh, this will be here and our uh, relations like constraints will be balanced okay now these value now how much these value you will see here f and total length h okay then we need to cut this see there are three cutouts this cutout it's like this 12 k okay this is going to cut and make multiple number of patterns we will see how we can do this apply this equals to f global variable where is f okay now distance select this one hold shift key and select the top edge and it will show you distance from top and these value goes to be 32 h okay let me make one midpoint it's easy for us to place just rotate select these points hold shift key select this point and make relation constraint coincidental okay see okay exit go to feature i want to add material so apply swift boss base sketch profile profile already selected here you have to apply path select this path you will see options unmerge result okay because i want to trim this body hide 
फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच एक्टिवेट लाइन टूल ड्रो स्केच समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके लेट मी क्लिक हियर वी सिलेक्टेड एट मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन सिलेक्ट दिस लाइन वर्टिकल एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट रिलेशन अगेन सिलेक्ट दीज टू टेपर्ड लाइन सेंटर लाइन एंड मेक कंस्ट्रेन हियर सी सिमेट्रिक ट्वेल्व ग्लोबल वेरिएबल के सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके बट स्टिल द ड्राइंग सीम्स नॉट फुल्ली डिफाइंड ओके सिलेक्ट दिस वन एंड सिलेक्ट दिस अपर एज कोलिनियर सिमिलरली सिलेक्ट दिस सेंटर एज एंड दिस लाइन कोलिनियर लुक इट सीम्स फुल्ली डिफाइंड extruded cut let me offset 30 mm reverse c and uh, let let's say through all look this is what i want to cut that's why we make two different body this is going to cut only this body not bottom see here circular pattern direction choose circular face feature this one number of instances 4 360 equal spacing okay see but you will see there is internal there is one more geometry is there see the gap g okay you will see this in section view this is section a section exactly this center section and in this section uh, section you will see this is the value uh f minus g into 2 it's going to be 12 mm how you can achieve this one you have to create one more body at this and with same path select this face sketch offset equal to okay here uh, let's say 3 रिवर्स जी मीन्स द वैल्यू इज थ्री मिलीमीटर इन साइड से ओके एग्जिट लेट मी चूज पाथ स्विफ्ट वन नाउ सी प्रीवियसली वी क्रिएटेड दिस पाथ सो वी नीड टू चूज प्लान प्लेन top plane and here for second reference choose this midpoint uh, center point of this circle i want to create a path on this level now plane created sketch and now select the previous path what we created in swift 1 see this path convert entity exit now here we have path and profile both Again, add material, shift to boss base, profile, select this sketch, path, this one. Now see, say okay. Now look, this is become one body because due to this body, all body connected and it's become one body. See. Now you will observe here thickness. T means two millimeter and here one hole also G a uh, three millimeter. What else balance? Almost we done. Then we will find out this all. Okay, let me apply color to this body. Okay, it looks better. Now shell. equal to global variable t now i am going to select here we have hole and at bottom show preview okay see now 
Now let me create one circle here and one circle at center point of this. Now the gap between these two arc equals to 3 millimeter G. Okay. Now let me select this circle, this circle equal. Extruded cut. And I want to cut only the wall thickness. So choose next. Select this face. Edit appearance. Let's change. Now select this face. Evaluate. Measure. See the area 399.59 millimeter square. See this is exactly exact value we achieved. Okay, let me rotate. Select this point and this way point. Okay, this is the distance. See 121.69. C121.69, 3995.59. And now the value of uh, total mass of this body, volume of this body, 49755.376 cubic millimeter. Okay. Now go to mass property. Okay. 49755.19. Okay. This is not going to match. Go to option. Use custom setting. Three number of an accuracy level keep higher now you will observe 497.55.375 375 this is a exact answer okay so we achieved what we need don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching